The high street stalwart House of Fraser has signalled it may be in financial trouble by asking its landlords to slash rents. Sky Charlotte Lomas has been finding out why one of the UK's best-known department stores may be struggling. It was the Amazon of its time, tempting customers through its doors since 1849 by offering a wide choice of concessions. Now, as a slowdown hits the high street, there's concern House of Fraser could become the latest casualty. Sky News has learned that the bosses of House of Fraser, one of the UK's biggest department store chains, have asked its landlords for reductions in rent amid growing cost pressures for retailers. The news has raised fears the department store is struggling to cope with changes in consumer demand and the cost of business rates. If they absolutely understand which stores are making the profit for them, where they're getting the footfall, and they concentrate on that and offering the consumer truly what they want, there is hope ahead. However, if retail brands remain only true to their boardroom and not their consumers, they will continue to struggle. Next is one example of a retailer who's been quick to adapt, with strong growth in online sales offsetting a slump in store. Debenhams, one of House of Fraser's biggest competitors, hasn't been as lucky, issuing a drastic profit warning in its Christmas trading results. It's a number of companies like House of Fraser that are getting buried under the weight of business rates. As House of Fraser gets ready to publish its Christmas figures, analysts predict a bleak outcome, having a knock-on effect on landlords. Companies like House of Fraser, M&S are struggling to really define where their customers are. And what that means for the landlord is they either need to cut rents and give in and help companies stay afloat, or they've got to think about how they reuse these buildings. And what we've seen in the States recently is massive companies like WeWork that rent out space to startups are taking over big shopping centres. It's no secret the high street as we know it is struggling. Toys R Us, the toy retailer, recently announcing that roughly a quarter of its British stores are set to close. Change is on the horizon. Experts say those businesses that survive will be ones that retain a strong traditional identity while keeping pace with the ever-changing demands of the consumer. Charlotte Lomas, Sky News. You're watching Sky News.